हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू आवर यूट्यूब चैनल माय नेम इज बलराम प्रसाद एंड आई एम वर्किंग विद माइक्रोसॉफ्ट यूएसए एंड वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस सम ऑफ द डाटा बेसिस इन दिस सीरीज एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू क्रिएट अ पोस्ट क्रे डाटा बेस व्हिच इज वन ऑफ द टॉप यूज डाटा बेस ऑन द अजूर अजूर व्हिच इज अ क्लाउड ऑफरिंग बाय माइक्रोसॉफ्ट एंड आज uh post gray on azure is fully managed services by azure so we can see we can create that one on any any of uh, physical machine in our data center then we have to manage everything including we have to invest hardware in hardware and also manage the os and patches and upgrading all the security features or we can go and create the vms on azure and install that post gray on that one and do the same thing but still you have to maintain all this in fly over there it is a part of vm but if we have an option to go into fully managed service then we can go with that one and there are a lot of advantage we can get out of platform itself so let's see what are these options we have right now so if we go and see the ranking of uh, postgres sql postgres sql is ranked as four number of things so if you go and see this uh, playlist we have created my sql on azure um, sql server on uh, Uh, SQL Server Express on VM and then SQL Server on managed instance in Azure and also we have created Azure SQL database. We have how to create Cosmos DB. We have created and now we are going to create PostgreSQL also. So there are variety of things we can see in that series that how we can have different kind of databases created inside Azure. So if we go and see that one that about uh, more about postgres sql what what we are going to get out of that uh, azure if we are going to create on that one so it is built in high ability if you are going to use this this feature into your local data center or vm you have to configure lot of uh, things over there to get that one then on um, data protection using automatic backup uh, and retention so that, that we can do that that is also another task or overhead if you are doing with that one that is why most of the time we keep the dba or we keep people for maintaining all these things in data center or do uh, and uh, different thing that we can we can pay as you go pricing so we do not have to give um, uh, pay for hardware and other things so that or also we can get enterprise grade security in azure leading compliance we can get so that all benefit which we have if we go in postgre on uh, sql into uh, azure i uh, and Uh, postgres sql comes into different models like single server we can have flexible server server we can have hyper scale so what are the different things if you go and see that one that in single server that uh, single server is based suited to cloud cloud native application right they had them uh, designed to handle automated patching without need to granular control we do not need the uh, more control in the downside we just need to maintain hard uh, that Uh, database and other thing then it is good system if we want to go with more flexible approach in customization we want to customize more in the database engine and other thing then we can go with flexible uh, for where application development development requires better control and customize into databases right post optimization control with the ability to start a stop server zone dependent high ability we can see that one right so you want to manage maintenance for windows also you can do that and in case of hyperscale if you see that you uh, the hyperscale option supports that horizontal scaling using uh, multiple machine using sharding that is the way we scale that databases uh, and then called like query parallelization across the those server the faster response on large data sets so it can multi tenant support application supports are there so that that is why we choose the different uh, if depending upon our scenario depending upon our application which type of application which we have we are building uh, we choose the options on that one so let's go quickly and see that one and create that one this is the same thing which we discuss on that one so if you go integrates with valuable post gray feature json b gs petal support and rich indexing a high performance using hyper scaling for intelligent performance recommendation that it generates when it is the traffic and that uh, fully managed uh, post gray with azure ip advances and threat detection protection so that enterprise grade security we can find from this one and then you can bring your whatever application you are building if you have python postgres sql java php you can connect with this one and then 
uh, Azure also, uh, Microsoft also provide this kind of data extension in Visual Studio, Azure Data Studio, Visual Studio Code extension. So you can use this platform to connect and work on that one. So that is how. And if you see hyper spill, there are multiple nodes connected to one DB and you can work on that one. So you do not have to maintain all the node patching and other things. So that that is that is the benefit we are going to get out of that one. So that is why we go that high, high ability fully manage intelligent performance, right? So let's go and create one, one quickly and then see. So right now, as usual, I'm going to create one new database. And then if you go in database section, if you see, see the option, we have created the Azure SQL Managed inside another video, SQL database in another video, Cosmos and MySQL. Now we are going to try this option, Postgres SQL. So let's click, click on that one. And as we talked about single server, flexible server, hyperscale and Azure Art enable, this is new option is came for hyperscale also. So let's go in single server options. So in single server option, if we go in resource group, I have to select one resource group. Let me select this one. I have to give a server name. So let me give that server name for this one. Server name must be okay. Server name, let's add something. Okay. And then uh, data source, we are not restoring anything. We are creating phrase, which location we want to create, which data center we want to create, in which version of PostgreSQL we want to use, and what is the hardware capacity of our thing. So we can go and see that one that we want locally geo redundant or we want to go with normal. So I want to go with very normal for that one, one core and five GB of that one backup in seven days so that my cost will be reduced. If I will increase the B code, my cost will go, go high and the storage also cost is dependent upon that one. Similar to that one, if you go in this sections, the cost will increase. So we can go with this one quickly and let me create or select this one. Then I have to give the password and other things for our admin so I can go with this one and okay, sorry this one and this one will be this one this password i keep deleting and the resources i keep deleting on that one so we can go in additional setting there is nothing much on that one and this one let's go and review and create that one so let's create okay. so deployment is in progress it will take few minutes to create this post create SQL and then uh, we can we can see how to which client we can use for connecting this SQL uh, via Postgres SQL instance which we created. So we will download that tool and then install in our machine and then try to connect with that one. Uh, this is a tool uh, called PG Admin which we use to connect to Postgres server for managing the server and connecting to database or management of database or running the query. We can go and download this one. So uh, it asks that in which kind of um, things you want to go and download. I will go for Windows uh, and I will go for P, uh, admin v5. So let's go and download this one. In PostgreSQL is powerful open source uh, object relational database with 30 years of active backgrounds. So this is very old database and it is also power of your same line and it is highly used. As we talked about that, uh, Oracle, MySQL, MySQL and Postgre, all are widely used databases in terms of relational database. So we can go and use and you can find most of the places it is being used for that one. So either you have Windows Server or you have Linux Server, you can find this one. There are a variety of language support are there, so you can connect using ADO.NET, JDBC or ODBC or a streaming API from different type of languages like .NET, C, C++, Delphi, Java, JavaScript, Perl and other things, Python, PHP. So all most of the used language is also used for that. You can connect with that one. Let's install this one. Okay, 
so uh, uh, it is asking so it is master password for it me let's create one master password so this this password is generated you can use any time for anything so let's create that copy that one let's keep this one somewhere okay so now our tool post grip for connecting to uh, postgresql uh, pg admin tool is installed let's go back and see that our resource has been created or not so yeah our resource has been created let's go to the resources and see what we have to do so uh, this is what uh, server details are there this is admin username and uh, if we go to connection security right now connection security is enforced ssl connection is installed so if we want to use this feature and this is good feature to have into production and this is uh, this is must have feature so but but for now i am going to disable this one because i have to install a um, different certificate into my machine and then can try to connect that one and also i am going to add my ip so that my ip uh, have permission to access to this server so i am going to add this one And then once it is going to do, uh, these are the edu.net con connection string or server details which we can use from edu.net, C++, JDBC, Node.js, different application to connect to this database and maintain this one. And uh, we can see this one. And uh, as we uh, talked about that here, we, we will see that one how much long uh, running query is coming where the static so that we can find out that what what query is taking much time to perform you can enhance the performance and also performance recommendation will come here you can connect this one with um, azure active directory or any active directory so that you can manage locally with that one uh, for better security we can enable the replication on that one uh, how it replication is going to work master and replica node we can add that one from here so this is this is um, that uh, if you want to go with more details how you can update the settings and other things for servers and other things that we can go and see that one so let's go and try to see this one that how we can connect with this one so uh, let's try to connect this one this is server either host name or must so we given this one okay so here something named test host name and this one we keep in this one port is 5432 that is okay and username which we have given i guess this username we have given let's see this one this is different okay this this is the user id which we have to give that one but there in password which we given for this server so we can give this one uh say password let's see save this details and let's see if it is able to okay so we are able to see something over there so this is how it looks like right now and if we go and try to create one database let's see i am going to create a employee database as usual and it will be honor of that one you can define different things for template table space and collection security and other thing but i am going to keep right now simple that one and i am going to create basic things like if you see sql create database option is coming on is this one so i am going to save this one so it is taking time it is going to create this one and this is also a nice um, uh, tool pg admin you can use to connect and maintain that one from that okay so uh, it created right now let's see this is employee one let's expand this one so it connected with all this uh, if you see um, test uh, employee database connected and then we can see everything over here right we can go into schemas and then dif see different things over there tables also we can see that one what is over there so i i we do not have tables but uh, we can create tables from here right let's see we can save the person table um, i want to create and this will be in public schema or schema we can create different things table is in a space i want to go and create um, different columns over there so let's see so i can go and go and create that one so I will be keeping ID as a name and it will be big int 
and not null uh, and it will be primary key so and then I want to add one more as a first name first name let's let go and choose as a bear care or very bit very known but character array but character varying we can take and length is 50 and let's keep that one last name last name and it will be also correct which generally we say bad care uh, in other things uh, so it will be this one and let's see so if we expand this one it is primary key definition constant you can go and see this one right so it is identity column i want to give that one always increment by how increment by this one uh, so I can do that uh, start from one and then minimum uh, this maximum and increment on that one so minimum is whatever so I can go and uh, do all this activity with this one so this whatever column you want to do so let's I have clicked on saved so I guess this person table has been created over there we can expand we can see this one if we click that one and go to script section if we select the script and run this one right now uh, there will be nothing because we have not inserted anything over there but if we go and uh, script that one and generate this insert script then if we see that one id is automated column i have given so i i don't want to take that one but if we go and say that let's see it will take single character or double character uh, double literal uh, that we can see and if we go and run this one it says that okay query return successful in this one insert 0 1 uh, if I go in this tab and if I am going to select this one from public dot person so let's see what happens now I can see this record right and this uh, PID is also auto generated so now we can go and play with this one this tool or this uh, SQL we can create function for that one we can create views procedures all these things whatever concept we have into our system trigger everything view all the all the things we can do for using this one this tool also and using postgre in, in azure so that is what i wanted to do in this video thank you for watching uh, please subscribe please share with your friends and then if you have any topic you want to create and know or in detail also not only creation part um, implementation part calling in any technology any cloud uh, just comment us or send us email or connect with linkedin we will help you on that thank you